What up everyone? Nate the Great Reviews is back with another quick review. This is not going to be long. So I saw Bullet Train last night. I posted a YouTube short about that, about my video coming today. And I don't even want to keep talking about this movie. The more and more I talk about it, the more it just pisses me off. So I'm just going to get right to it. The first act, the first and second act of this movie are messy. This whole movie's a mess, but at least the second act when Aaron Taylor Johnson comes in, his acting is really good, and it steals the show. I really, really liked him. I didn't like him at the beginning because I'm not used to him having a British accent, but he fucking grew on me for a while. If it wasn't for him, I probably would have walked out of this movie if my mom wasn't with me. It was that over the top and boring when you try to go so bonkers and everything with so many characters and then you try to add a story in there that's not interesting and on top of that you have big big actors big name actors like Brad Pitt, Michael Shannon, Sandra Bullock they're all just sleepwalking through it and it is very very boring to watch by the third act when they think it's this big big blockbuster third act and you know, the train's going off the rails, but like literally, like this movie just goes off the rails. And as I always say, like Brad Pitt said in the movie, I mean, yeah, face a shit deal, but I mean, $40 of this movie was a fucking shit deal. It was a waste of fucking money and time. There was decent action to keep me invested in the second act, but once everything happened and it came down to the story, holy fuck, it was so boring. I just wanted to leave. We have a big emotional arc with Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, which I actually liked. And um, it's about his brother dying on the train because, you know, they were brothers and they grew up together. And then we get this kind of shady flashback of them when they were kids. Well, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie, Aaron Taylor Johnson has this big, big emotional moment. And then um, he gets killed, which made sense. But then it turns out the big brother who's revolved around evolved around this emotional moment wasn't even dead the whole time so that whole moment was literally for nothing it was just a waste of time the script here is terrible the jokes are terrible i laughed maybe three four times everything i was just most of the time just shaking my head ready to leave clenching my fucking jaw and the worst part about this movie isn't brad pitt it is michael shannon because i didn't even know he was in this and as soon as I saw him, I got my hopes up because he's a good actor. I was like, yes, he's going to save this fucking third act because it's so bad. Nope, we got Michael Shannon playing a Japanese guy and he can't even convey it. Like, he can't even do the dialogue properly. It comes off as boring, pretentious, cringy, and just all around flat out dull. If you want to save your money, save it. If you want to see it, see it. But definitely, definitely, I should have waited for streaming. But since I'm trying to get my channel a bit bigger, I'm trying to get these new releases out. I wanted to go see this last night. But I thought I was going to have... I somewhat had a good time watching it. It's a really, really weird conclusion that I came under after the movie. Like, it's... I was, like... The second act, like I said, was the best. But everything else was just boring. The pacing is god-awful. They go to Brad Pitt, and then Bad Bunny, and then a bunch of other characters, and then it's 30 years later, and then 20 years later. The only good actor in this was the Asian guy from the beginning of the movie. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get into spoilers. He has a pretty good emotional arc about his son getting pushed off a, you know, a fucking building, no one's getting killed. The beginning of the movie is really emotional, and I was all in for it, and I was expecting a stupid fucking ride, but when it gets to that point, they don't even handle it good. The action isn't good. I thought it was a cool concept that Brad Pitt doesn't have a gun on the train, and then, you know, you can fight with a bunch of different weapons, like a briefcase or fucking chopsticks or something, you know, make it a bit more interesting. But um, there's maybe two or three good fight scenes, and then uh, someone getting vomited on. Other than that, there isn't that much fighting in the first and second act. There's probably three or four fight scenes. And as soon as those are over, the third act comes along and destroys the whole fucking thing. Terrible, 
third act. I'm not going to sit here and call it a terrible movie, but the third act literally just ruined everything about the movie that I enjoyed. So now every time, every time I think about Bullet Train, it just, I barely have anything positive to say. Even though there is a couple of good things, it's not the worst movie ever made, but they built the act up to be so good, and I thought it was going to be good. And half the time you don't even see people getting killed. And that's stupid considering this is an R-rated movie. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of Bullet Train. Because I've never been a fan of, the fan of Brad Pitt. And I'm still fucking not. This doesn't change my mind. If anything it made it worse. I think he's, he's a... I've always thought he's not been the best actor. Other than Inglorious Bastards. That was a pretty good role for him. But other than that... Him and Johnny Depp, super, super overrated.